camera shake. Okay, so this is how you create your camera shake effect in Adobe After Effects. What you do is you go to your timeline here at the bottom of your project, and then you highlight all of the layers. Right click and hit pre-compose, and you can call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it clip six. And then move all attributes, it should be checked off here. Hit okay. Now we're gonna go to the clip six panel, and then we're gonna go to the main frame. And now we're gonna scale it up just enough, but not too much. Make sure you hold down the shift key to keep it proportioned to about the uh, around there is good. And so now we're gonna go to the right under effects and presets. We're gonna type in wiggle. And then you can click and drag wiggle position over the whole composition. So if you hit play, you'll notice that there is camera shake, but it's more like a camera sway left and right. It's not really shaking. It's kind of slow. So to increase the speed of that, we're gonna go to effect control panel on the left. And then at the top under wiggle speed, you're gonna change it from one second to three. So now if you watch it, the camera is shaking a lot more. However, it's a little bit too much. The camera's shaking too much for what I'm trying to go for. So we're gonna change that by going back to the effects control panel. And then at the top again under Wiggle speed, we're gonna go to wiggle amount and change it from 50 to about 12. But you guys can play around with that. See what speed you want it at, see how much you want it to shake. So if you hit play, now you can see that the camera is shaking at a pretty decent speed, but it's not shaking too much. Like it's not being crazy. So instead of it shaking at around 50 pixels, it's now shaking at 12. And that's how you create a very basic camera shake in After Effects. Thanks so much guys for watching this video. <coughs> oh, let's try that again. It's late. Thanks so much you guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button on the bottom there, as well as tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you really liked it, maybe subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.